by. Um, so live installation. It's the first time I'm filming, but I just want to show you a bit of the progress. You can see everyone's setting up sculptures here, there, all my beaches behind me. All the water here, it's a great view, just out of the viewpoint. In total there will be just over 100 sculptures placed everywhere. It's Tuesday, so we got two more days of install going. And we'll open on Thursday, we'll be open for about 17 days, so two and a half weeks. I'll be working some shifts then and I will definitely uh, give you a whole overview of the, of the whole route. behind me here is like made by this Chinese dude and it's basically to represent like online gaming and how dangerous like actual robotic machinery can be. Okay so this one behind me has actually got the sickest like meaning ever but I'm gonna read it from the book because it's way too hard to remember. So it says a site-specific installation that explores the psychological state of being trapped in an intimately familiar neurotic pattern of thought. Deep, man. This one behind me has also got an awesome meeting. So it's the burger. There's a line like going into the water. So it's basically, if the fish started fishing for humans, what would they throw? And obviously it's gonna be fast food, tasty burger. Pretty, pretty, pretty awesome, actually. Now I'm walking along this path and it is insanely beautiful man, like look at this! That's why I came to Sydney. <laughs> Wait, what's this one called? I call it when your bro gets put in the front zone. <laughs> huh, that's pretty sick. Welcome by another guest surprise. <laughs> Look at this beautiful pot plant. What are we guessing for that, Zach? 41.5. Fuck off. Did you look in the book? Nah, 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 I didn't look in the book at all. Right, so it's 42. He fucking nailed it. <laughs> okay, I kind of cheated. Kim just uh, asked me to get in the, in the, behind the camera and get a photo of me pointing where Sydney is and I was like, I, I, I don't know where Sydney is, isn't it? Pretty bad, pretty bad of me. <laughs> okay, and then I asked two people where Sydney was and I ended up asking two German people and they taught me where it is. And he, ju he just pointed at it like he knew perfectly where it was. <laughs> about 10 more artworks on the beach on the sand where we're standing now. Let's do it 360 so you can see. Oh, this way? This way. <laughs> you can see them all? Yeah. I'm blinded. Alright, the statement is, according to the shape of the stone, I made the surrounding structure. The two share a common conflict with which becomes stronger in the pure nature of the sea. So it's barbed wire locked into stone, made by Chu Yi from China. And let's do a guess the price. What are we saying, Zach? I'm going 33. Three trees, 33. Oh. <laughs> 
All right, so the set of three is about 60 grand. 60 grand. So maybe you can get a single one for 20 <laughs> and just not travel the world for the next two years. <laughs> I choose travel. Next episode of Guest of Prize. We got this Australian made sculpture uh, by Greg Johns. And give me a shot. What do you think? 45. A bit higher. Go for it. 60. Oh, I'll just delete your bay. It's 85. 85! <laughs> That's beautiful though, but 85 is a lot of money. Alright, I've got a question for you guys out there. Would you pay $85,000 for it if you had the spare cash? And second question, so far what has been your favorite sculpture and which one would you most likely buy? Leave a comment below, I would really like to know your guys' thoughts. Uh, when this one got put into the ground, it was just a uh, color of steel, like very shiny, polished, kind of like that one. Um, but the artist made it so it would rust quite quickly. So the rust started at the bottom and slowly made its way up. And as you can see now, it's completely rusted. Walk this way. So this artist, this is the first uh, sculpture that got installed. And this artist has a miniature version inside as well. And he actually won the first prize for his miniature. So he's the sculpture inside winner. And this is the big version and it's, it's awesome. It was, uh, it's it was so hard sick. to install, but the perspective is so cool. Okay, this is so trippy. This is so true. Like, okay, I'm just gonna point. So, here we're gonna follow this face all the way around, and it doesn't actually come back to the right side to the same point. And we, we can't figure it out. So, it goes round here. Let's just follow it round here, up here, down, and back around. It's a 90 degree turn. To right. here. Is that, but we started here. So we have ended here, but we started here. Figured it out, it's because it's it's four-sided object, it takes four loops, it's four pieces, so it's four rotations to get back around your point. It's still super trippy though, trust me. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Pim's favorite. Number one. Number one. <laughs> right, look at this massive beast. It's a nine meter concrete structure. Got delivered here in one piece. Just off the trailer. Install it. Take a guess at the price, Zach. 70,000. That's actually pretty close, but well close. It's 90 grand. 90 grand. It's closer than you've been with the other one, so well done. <laughs> Thanks, man. Would you guys pay 90 grand for a big cement sculpture? Oh, Whole lot of cement. From this year's prize, the Aqualand Sculpture Award is the main winner. Uh, it's 65 grand, but it looks awesome. It's a circle. Um, I can find the English <laughs> uh, And then we got some awesome trash bins here as well form into an arc that makes this interesting sculpture beautifully done and there's mr. Zach he's late Bye. for work Bye. He's in a rush for work I got a friend I got a friend buying shoes for me because I have no shoes 
to get to work. That's because he's been backpacking and road tripping and hitchhiking. You <laughs> tend to not have shoes because you become one big hippie. <laughs> yeah. This guy. Yeah, three, two. So now we're inside and these are basically all the miniature sculptures of all the sculptures we saw today. There's so many we didn't find because there's heaps here that I haven't noticed. These are all, all for sale as well, which is pretty sick. Like, let's find one we all saw. Oh, like for this one? This one. Oh, and this one. Sorry, the friend zone goes. Oh, and there's the one I got friend zoned. Is that the, the book? I oh, know. That's a mini rusty tree that we saw earlier. That's pretty, pretty dope. I really like that one. Seven and a half grand. of our costume, cutting all the red cups from this, put the rim off, this. You already know what we're gonna be? Take a guess. You'll see in probably 20 seconds. The final result it took us about an hour to finish it, but here we go. We are beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. All right, it's a bit, a bit hard to see right there, but I'm losing miserably to Mr. Sam over there. He's still got four, I just got one. It's so hot inside the party there that we're just playing in the street. But it doesn't matter because we got our own beer pong game. Yes. One, two. Oh, what was that? Second one. Close up shot. One, two. Hey. Hell yeah. Good morning. Uh, it's about 7 a.m. now and doing the morning shift at Sculpture by the Sea and this is my office for the morning. Uh, just got to clean and make sure that no one uh, messes with the sculptures but this view is amazing. I could do this view every morning. Today is one hell of a busy day at the office but it's great weather, all the people are coming out and just enjoying all the art and the great work. People, the waves are going mad. They're up three or four meters, they're crashing. And we get the spray everywhere. So many kids. Look at all the school kids. touch this hamburger so I'm basically just standing here policing telling them not to touch the hamburger but it's too many kids to handle it's cool though they learn something so it's trying to I'm not sure if you can see it just drive the machine in container uh, yeah it's the third day of the install probably gonna be my last day there's still a lot standing but most of it is taken off all the other areas uh, uh, not and uh, curl up so I'm here already um, but most of it is still here in the park this is the third day that we work 12 hours um, it's really long days but it's just keep doing it and it goes fairly quick um, so hopefully we can wrap up most things today. Tomorrow I'm off, tomorrow is my birthday. <laughs> so probably get a sleep in, so I'm looking forward to. And for now, it's, it's nine in the morning, so we got uh, 10 hours ahead of us. And it's going great, the weather's looking fine. It was supposed to rain these three days, did not rain, so that's been great. Acting at those two in New Zealand. One guy bought it all for a combined value of about 400,000 
Australian dollars. He bought four, three or four sculptures. Um, so yeah, he's gonna put it in his garden. Those things. Pitting is going all right. Yeah, doing, yeah, doing yeah. Great yeah. job. Yeah. That's Oh! 